I began this project by sanding down some reclaimed piranha pine. It was quite old and weathered looking as it had been sitting outside for around 10 years. When I was finished sanding, we glued both boards together to form the tabletop. I sprinkled some salt along the glue joint to stop the boards from moving as I clamped them. I won the red clamps in Dominic Bender's Challenge Tree Contest. They're really good clamps made by a company called Fire. I wiped off the excess glue as I worked to make cleanup easier later. We decided to use pocket holes on this project due to their ease of use. Next we joined the apron to the stair spindles we are using as legs. We also made some stretchers from some popular 2x1 to give the table extra strength. We finished off joining the aprons and stretchers to the legs. We wanted to give the table a distressed look, so we burned it with a small gas burner. We added some braces to the bottom of the tabletop to stop it from warping. I cut some pieces of scrap I had around the shop to form the fronts of two dummy drawers. I cut some moulding to use as a decorative edge on the dummy drawers. I then glued and nailed the moulding into place on the drawer front. I drilled a hole in the centre of each drawer and added a small knob. The pins I used to nail the moulding to the drawer front were slightly long, but this allowed us to position the drawer easily before clamping to allow the glue to dry. We used clear water-based lacquer to seal and protect the tabletop. The lacquer really brought out the lovely colours in the piranha pine. My partner began to paint the stand with blue milk paint. She added two heavy layers to the legs, aprons and stretchers of the table. Using 220 grit sandpaper, she started to sand in random areas to give the table a worn look. We used the cloth that we had wiped down the charred table with earlier to add some black to the edge areas and scuffed areas of the table. This really highlights the wood grain through the milk paint.
We use the clear water-based lacquer as a top coat over the milk paint. With the addition of the lacquer, you can really start to see the distressed look coming through. I position the table legs onto the tabletop. I then added some L brackets around the table's apron. I then used some small screws to secure the tabletop to the legs through the L brackets. I added the bottom shelf to the stand. This is the finished product. I really like how the reclaimed piranha pine goes with the blue milk paint. It was our first family furniture project together and I hope there will be many more. Thanks for watching the BC Design channel. Please thumbs up, share and subscribe.